Richmond Public School officials gathered at Thomas Jefferson High School to celebrate what they're calling a huge accomplishment. Richmond City standardized test scores are trending in the right direction. Our 8 News reporter Jamal Williams is live in studio to break down some of these numbers for us. So Jamal, how is Richmond stacking up compared to other local school districts and even the state? Well, the end of the data shows that Richmond Public Schools still has a ways to go to catch up to many others, but numbers are up across all subjects for the district. Today is a beautiful day, a wonderful day here at Richmond Public Schools, and we are so thrilled to continue to rise here at RPS. As the first week of school continues, RPS leaders gathered at Thomas Jefferson High School touting improved SOL scores. According to the Virginia Department of Education, Richmond Public Schools' testing scores grew across the board in every subject compared to last year. We grew three points in reading, three points in math, four points in history, and 10 points in science and 10 points in writing. While the RPS made strides, they still have a ways to catch up to many local districts. In reading, 50% of Richmond students passed. However, that's at least 19 percentage points behind Henrico, Chesterfield, and Hanover County schools, which each achieved 69, 71, and 80% pass rates respectively. None of them are back to pre-pandemic pass rates. Besides the pandemic, Superintendent Jason Cameras blames underfunded facilities and chronic absenteeism as some reason scores haven't improved faster. We have billions of dollars of facilities investments that are needed. Uh, number two, uh, we need to continue to invest in attracting and retaining the best possible teachers here in Virginia. But there is a silver lining. In all but one subject, RPS is outpacing local and state improvement. Cameras says, the reading gains are all thanks to continued investment in programs like the RPS Literacy Plan, which focuses on a different approach to teaching kids to read. We were a bit ahead of the curve before the VLA. We were adopting those uh, curricula that are based on evidence and training teachers and putting them into practice. And so we're beginning to see the returns on those investments. It takes time, two, three, four, five years, but we're beginning to see all of that happen now. And as we reported yesterday, the governor is so happy about all this, and you can get a full report on this online at WRC.com. Back to you, Eric.